Hey everyone, I am Daniel and today I am in Phuket and we're at Central Phuket which is like, I don't know, like the only big giant mall on the island, right? Yeah, and I'm with Cartoon. <laughs> so we're doing our little Phuket trip. Uh, earlier we had a, like a little beach afternoon which is kind of why my hair is a little messed up but uh, now we are in Central Phuket. I wanted to check out the mall. <laughs> and. Uh, I think we're going to be looking for something to eat. Or do you want like a refreshment first? Or what do you think? I want a meal. Okay, so I think we're going to head up to the uh, higher floors there and then we'll um, go find some food. But yeah, this is kind of an interesting mall. Yeah. It's super crowded though. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty sure it took us like a half hour to park, right? I mean, it's like pretty crazy. So, well, what what do you feel like eating? Uh, actually, let's see first what they have. All right. I think it's gonna be normal, like small food. Yeah, I mean, I don't expect like some Michelin knotted restaurant or something, you know. But this is kind of interesting. The layout, it doesn't remind me of Central World at all. Like yeah, the normally style. the Central in outside, I mean outside Bangkok, yeah. will look similar, but this one is quite big. Okay. Like outside of Bangkok, there might be one Central in each province, but yeah. it's gonna be like less than this. This one is quite nice. Yeah, and for those of you that don't know, Central is like a like a brand of mall shopping center chain throughout Thailand. There's also like Terminal 21, but there's way more Centrals. Yeah. So, okay. what do you want a crepe? No, no, the food. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. Here we go. <laughs> so now we're gonna hit the food plaza here and see what they got. Wow. So many Yeah. But. I mean, the purpose of this video is to just kind of like show you guys what's up with the mall in Phuket should you want to base here or, you know, spend some time. Because, I don't know, like, for me that's pretty important, you know? Like, because you need some modern amenities and a place to kind of escape. Because a lot of the restaurants in Phuket, or, or the ones we went to so far, are like not air conditioned, you know? And it's like, it's very like open air, so if you want to... It's kind of like Chiang Mai a, a lot, whereas like if you want like the air conditioned experience, like you just gotta go to the mall. Like that's like your option, right? And I feel like Phuket is kind of like that sort of as well. No? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I don't think people would care too much about aircon. I don't know. Oh well, no, I'm saying like I do, and most foreigners do. Like I think the mall is kind of semi-important. Place to watch a movie like that, that was really big for me like when I spent time in Chiang Mai it was like I just spent a lot of time at Maya you know because it's like I mean the food is not great but I mean like just you know hanging around the mall is a market downstairs you can see a movie you know like things like that yeah like the banking level I think <laughs> this is all banks <laughs> Nice little island outfit here. <laughs> Alright, so I guess we kind of got out of the mess. It's a little yeah. less crowded now. But it's just all banks on this level. It's no kind of weird. Wants to go <laughs> to the yeah. This is all banks. It's so funny. Yeah. Yeah. This is fairly new, right? Like new ish? Or. Uh, I think it's been around for, for quite some time, but I don't know. But if not like 10 years, away. right? Or yeah. more than that? Oh, okay. Okay. I mean, it, it like has a nice feel. Let's say. I, it's like you can kind of tell the because the ceiling height. Like the older the malls are, the ceilings are lower. It's like kind of that's like a test. <laughs> but it's it's quite big and it has everything though. Like yeah. You have salons. You have drugstores, of course, and also a bunch of. Yeah. Shopping. Let me see what's going on here. <laughs> There's like a lot of stuff. Oh. Oh, and a koi pond apparently. <laughs> oh, it's huge. Wow. Yeah, from, from this angle it's pretty spectacular. Oh. Cool, uh, on down. 
Yeah, so I think we came to the top level, but the food is actually all one down, so. Well, I mean, we can kind of decide. Jap Japanese. Sukishi sound nice, though, because I like spicy. You mean sukiyaki? Or? No, sukishi is oh. like uh, grill. Oh, like yakitori or something? Uh, or yakiniku, maybe? Yeah, yakiniku. Okay. And we, I think we already saw these. It's like M M K. Or... Mm -hmm. It has a sizzler. Oh my gosh! There's a lot of Japanese food here. Yeah, it's not like super. Nothing's. You know what's funny? There's not a lot of like high-end Thai stuff here. It's all like Japanese yeah, or Western. Yeah, I only see one. What is that? Is that Thai food? No. Oh no, that's not. <laughs> there is one uh, some Tom place downstairs. Some Tom. You want to go there? Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna get some Somtam, which is like papaya salad. So, like Isan, like north, northeast Thailand, like close to Laos. <laughs> but I guess if you're like in the west, like every Thai restaurant has papaya salad, but... In Thailand, it has, I mean, every every restaurant has papaya salad in Thailand, more or less. But I, I think like the really on point ones are obviously like the Isan restaurants or the ones that specialize in that kind of cuisine. So. But so far, the food in Phuket has been kind of like interesting, I would say. And I actually had a lot of Southern Thai food while in Bangkok, so it's not like super new for me or anything, but. Definitely, if you're in Phuket, um, you should try, like, they have a lot of Phuket-style stuff, and they also have, like, Southern Thai stuff. So, it's very interesting cuisine. Like, very well-defined, like, kind of like Isan food is, too. Like, they have some very interesting dishes that are just from here, like, in the south of Thailand. So, yeah. Uh, was it up there? Yeah. Okay. I don't think it's you. Maybe it's just something. Uh -oh. There it is. Yeah. You, you don't want Barbecue Plaza? <laughs> I don't really like that place, yeah. So, this is the one? Yeah, this is the one. Wanna see the menu? Yeah, looks good. They look yummy. This is fine. It's like the only Thai place in this whole yeah. joint. So. Yeah, it actually looks pretty good. I think it's called Nam Bun, so it has Vietnamese food. Yeah, because this is Via, yeah, for sure. Okay. Yeah, wow. It looks pretty good. Let's go. So we ordered the pork, the Nam Tho. Um, soup with pork with the pork the soup. Uh, what is soup? <laughs> sour, spicy and sour pork rib soup. Okay. And then this one, the fresh spring roll. And then... Oh god. Baby's crying. And then the song tam, like the whole big one. Yeah, like that one looks good. And then, yeah, chow niao. Let's do it. And get a water too. Okay, water. <laughs> Got a little nam tok. I still don't know what the difference between because this kind of tastes like lob, but it's not ground meat. Is that what the difference is? Yeah, and it's more juicy. Oh, Normally, okay. oh lob yeah. Will be a little drier. You, you're right. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Let's give this a shot. Very good actually. Okay. Nice. Is that medium spicy? Yeah. No, this one cannot choose spicy level. Oh, okay. I think it's good. A nice bite full of onions. Get that onion breath for cartoon. <laughs> so, 
You can get sticky rice, which Cartoon did. <laughs> Ding! Or you can get kanamjin, which is like the fermented rice noodle. I actually like that too, because they kind of like, you can like mix it with the salads and it has like a little bit of a different mouthfeel. Keep in mind, it's not gonna be hot. So if you get the rice noodle, it'll be cool. Mm. Yeah, I like this soup. Like there's like a bunch of pork bones and like giant mushrooms. It's a very loud baby. We got a pretty nice spread here. <laughs> oh, she's doing the dance. Is that all? Happy dance. Yeah, I, I think we got cheese, right? Huh? Oh no. Huh? The Vietnamese. Um, oh, we got the roll. spring spring roll too. Yeah. I'm not even sure how to get into this. It's just like so much stuff. <laughs> Take a big old nasty bite. What that fish cake? Like a pork rind. <laughs> A little piece of uh, salted egg on there. Not sure if you can see it. So <laughs> mm. spicy. Not yeah. that like that place that we used to. Did you get medium or? Medium. Okay, yeah, that's good. I, I think this is perfect because usually in Bangkok it's 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 either bland and sweet or so spicy you die. That just seems to be the op option. So. Yeah. And this place does it pretty good. <laughs> Boom. Oh, these are like straight up Vietnamese spring rolls. <laughs> I think it's with pork, you know? Wow. Got some pork in there and the dip dipping sauce. Try it. You just use your fingers. I'm not sure. I can use this. Sort of. Thank <laughs> you. Oh, that's like sweet. What do you think? Bang, 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 bang. I'd say it's Vietnamese inspired. <laughs> <No. laughs> Alright. Cool. It was pretty good. So how much was it? Like six. It was 640 baht, which is not bad for a mall, I feel like. We ate a lot, right? Yeah, we ate a lot. Yeah. Like, so cool. I want to say that's maybe like $18, somewhere in there. 17 I don't know. <laughs> it's not terrible. Oh, go down. That was actually pretty good. <laughs> All right, so we're going to, uh, we're going to head down. <laughs> Mm. I kind of just want a green tea. Like, what do you what do you think the odds are that I can actually get get that? Well, I don't think it's gonna be the version you like. As long as it's unsweet, then I think it's fine. Is that tea? That looks Asian. <laughs> a little oh, loud. you're gonna go shake it. I don't know. Let's go. That looks Asian. Forgive me of me. That's not what I meant. <laughs> it looks like a tea spot. I might have like oolong or something like that. 
Oh, it's rice and yogurt? Or no, what is no, it? they're one for the time. Oh, yeah, so we're gonna kind of check this out over here, see what, see what, see what they got. No? All right, this is the cafe, so I guess not. <laughs> yeah. How do we do that? Uh -huh. oh, the escalator. Okay. <laughs> So we'll do a little roam and head down. There's actually a grocery store downstairs too, as always. <laughs> actually, in Central World, there's, it's upstairs. It's not downstairs. Yeah. Yeah. So I guess it's not always downstairs, but usually it's downstairs. Like, yeah, Central is different. Yeah. Uh, yeah, if they just have like a regular matcha with no sugar, that's fine. I'm kind of looking at this place. Do you even like matcha? No. <laughs> but I can have food, but huh? I can have this door. Okay. Well, I don't really need, need anything then. If you just want to get a booth, just get a booth. <laughs> you like this juice? It's basically Jamba juice, like, from the States. <laughs> I really like this tile. This tile is like this style. Yeah, I like it, it too. It, it's always in like the shop houses. There's yeah. really cool styles. Yeah. What you want? I don't want anything. Just go ahead and grab what you need. All right. So, cartoon's gonna get a uh, juice back there, but yeah, I mean, I hope you guys got a pretty good idea of uh, Central Phuket and what you can get. Uh, actually, there's a grocery store over here so central food hall is over here which is it's a pretty massive grocery store it's like everything you're gonna need is gonna be in here for sure um but like central phuket itself is kind of it's literally in the middle of like the middle of the south of phuket um so it's not like by any beaches or anything but it's not too far away maybe like eight kilometers from like Rawai or a little bit more from Old Town. So. But yeah, so I think for me, Phuket is not, it's not for me as far as like long term, but it's been interesting to visit so far. So.